happy, nothing's going to stop me. I'm making my way home. I'm making my way home. Good morning. I fell asleep at like 7.30 last night. I was so tired. I, after staying up on the red eye, just needed a good night's sleep. So I went to bed super, super early. Didn't even have dinner except for that hot dog. Um, so I'm up early today. I have a huge day ahead. I'm very excited because today I'm going on an ice caves tour. Going to Vic, going to Skoga Foss Waterfall. So I have a bunch of stops on my itinerary today, but I don't have a lot of daylight. So I'm getting an early start, hoping that I can see stuff in the dark. We'll see how that goes. It's kind of tough because where I need to be by one, if I could start earlier, like I'd be good, but I can't see it before it gets light, which is like 9.15. So we'll see. Also, I woke up and I couldn't find my camera charger, so I'm not sure where it is. Slash if I forgot it, so that kind of sucks. I might have to switch to my phone, we'll see. But big day ahead, I'm gonna get everything packed up and head out. 6.48 right now, AM. This is how dark it is. We'll really stay this way for another, like three hours. So, yeah, getting, can't even see, but getting everything in the car. Okay, let's head off. First stop, breakfast this morning. Okay, breakfast is a cheese croissant and a orange juice. So I'm leaving now. I have a four hour in total drive today. I gotta be at the Ice Caves tour by one, which is six hours away, but the sun doesn't rise until for a few hours. So I'm hoping that I get there a little early and I might be able to see it in the dark and then head along to Vic. So I have an hour to go to Skoka Foss Waterfall. I don't know if this comes out on camera, but there's a waterfall that's like lit up over there. That's not where I'm going though, but that's weird. So I'm walking up to it. I decided to stop because I'm gonna have time to kill it the next place until it gets light anyway. And since you can see this, I figured I might as well walk up to it. It's just a quick walk from the parking lot and right off the highway. This is Sel Seljalan Foss. I don't think I'm saying that right but it actually was on my list to see, so perfect. I can feel the mist from over here. Very powerful. If I get any closer, I'm gonna get really wet. As you can see, it's like spraying. There's a trail over there, but I think this is as far as I'm gonna go. Ooh, it's cold. But they have little lights shining on the waterfall, so that's why I could see it from the road. Oh, my camera's getting wet. Currently driving on the southern coast. I started up around here. This is uh, where I am right now, the first waterfall of Vic, and then the glacier lagoon at the end. So three hours. To go, it's 8 a.m. I gotta be there by one, but obviously I've got stops and stuff. I'll have to get gas along the way as well. Basically, I like almost drove into the river because I can't see anything. It is so dark. I have a little walk here to go to the waterfall, but I'm like the only one here. Hopefully the sun starts to come up soon because it's just yeah, it's not even coming up. I mean I can barely see anything, so. Okay, the night mode on iPhone is actually pretty good, so I think I can get a picture on my iPhone, but there's no way I can get it on video. Oh my god. From night mode on iPhone, which is actually pretty good. More than I can see anyway. <laughs> Back to the car. Okay, I have a half hour to fix, and hopefully by the time I get there, it'll be starting to get light. Usually it's like 9.15 and I'm getting there at 9.10, so I'm hoping I'll be able to see the Black Sand Beach and then continue on to the glacier. Made it to Beck, and I think I'm heading down over there somewhere at the Black Sand Beaches. So this is supposedly really dangerous, the beach waves here. We obviously not going in the water. This is Rainesfara Beach. There is Bossy. Bossy 
beaches and probably some really cool rocks. Super powerful and big. You can almost hear them crash. Let's see who it is. Definitely would not be swimming here. <laughs> but basically it's just talking about all the moss health and they said it was 400 years old some of the moss which is really kind of cool quick little stop off on the side of the road here for a pretty viewpoint of all the moss super icy but cute little view and the mountains in the background. Such a cool little viewpoint. Super icy though. It's just like a sheet of ice to get up here. So definitely need to be careful. Making a quick little stop off here at a waterfall. I thought I could stop because it's literally right off the road. So I wouldn't miss a ton of time. But absolutely stunning. We're approaching the glacier where the ice caves are. So I just walked down to the water to look at the glacier lagoon for just a minute and I'm gonna get my socks changed and get dressed in my warm coat because the tour will start soon to go into the ice caves. The tour begins with a super bumpy off-roading experience in the super jeeps to Vatajokul National Park at the glacier. We got our helmets on and suited up for about a 30 minute trek into the cave. This glacier is the size of Puerto Rico and shifts forward a couple inches each year. Cave is discovered each fall and melts every summer. then crossed a river which was full of glacier water and we were able to drink from it because it's super clear. Finally made it to the edge of the glacier. The ice isn't dirty, this is volcanic ash from a volcanic eruption that has frozen in the ice. About 120 feet of ice above us. to see the beautiful 
beautiful blue colors. And again, you can see the pieces of black volcanic ash stuck and frozen in the ice. Because of the change in temperature, the ice cave was melting from the top and freezing on the bottom. We then hiked back and took the Super Jeep back to the Glacier Lagoon for a beautiful golden hour. wrapped up my ice caves track that was stunning incredible um wow the wind is really strong right now um totally recommend for a winter activity you can't do it in the summer because the water fills up um the cave fills with water but it was so amazing my guide was amazing i learned so much i hope i captured it all oh my god just heading to my airbnb and gonna try to find some dinner here Got back to my hotel and look, I have a huge blister. I'm not going to show you the blister because it's nasty, but it literally bled through my sock. This is where I'm staying tonight. Super, super basic. There's a uh, bathroom out in the hall. And then it's just like a single bed or chair. Yeah, I'm going to go to dinner at the guest house and I'm going to take a shower first because my hair is a mess. Chance of seeing the Northern Lights tonight, there is one, so I might go to the Glacier Lagoon and camp out. I don't know like if they last hours or minutes, so like how difficult it would be to see given the great conditions, but I'm gonna ask and see if it's a good idea because it's the only 10 minutes down the road. So I just picked up some dinner, some soup and pasta from um, the restaurant for the, um, the place I'm staying. You hear that? That is the wind. I'm sitting in my car to see if I can get a shot of the Northern Lights. They're supposed to be good tonight. I'm going to stay here for like two hours, eat, and just chill. It's at a three forecast, which they said three is a good chance. So we will see. So this was a bust. It started raining, and basically anytime there's clouds, you can't see it, um, is what the guide told me. So... I'm going to head home, which kind of sucks. Uh, tomorrow it's going to be cloudy, so I'm not sure if we'll be able to see anything tomorrow. I'm really hoping for one day this week, though. Fingers crossed. I'm high. Nothing's going to stop me. I'm making my way home. I'm making my way home.